Okay, so hi everyone. This is a small demo on how you can paint a uh, different sort of leaves. Uh, this uh, for this particular video, I'm using watercolors, but this technique can be applied to fabric paints or poster paints anyhow. So in this one, uh, this is the most basic uh, leaf uh, that you can try out. Your hand needs to be light, and you have to use uh, the brush with more pressure towards the base, and you can uh, lessen the pressure as you come towards the end to make it sharp and pointed and then you can switch your brush uh, to a smaller one and a f with a fine tip and add in a stem to finish it Um, so this next one which I'm uh, showing you here so in this you just have to you know make a uh, random small marks uh, on the sheet with your brush these don't have to be you know any specific shape or you know size color they can be you know small just small dabs of brush here I'm making and uh, you know once you form a leaf like structure then you can add a stem this is a very min minimalistic form of you know leaf that you can try out this one is a bit different that i'm uh, doing now uh, the rest of the rest of uh, the rest are vertical but this one is horizontal so it gives a bit different look and you can even add uh, you know the same pattern on the other side to make it even more different and unique uh, but you can use it as it is also And in this one, uh, I'm first doing the stem as opposed to like in the others, I first did the leaves, leaf part. So you can uh, use, uh, you know, you can proceed any how you wish to, whatever method works for you. And in this one, I'm just, you know, adding a small fine lines with my brush with a, uh, with a fine tipped brush, right? So you can add, you know, small, uh, you can uh, start by adding longer twigs like these and then uh, go on to smaller ones so that it forms, you know, a pointed leaf like structure. And these don't have to be, you know, any set form of lines like they don't have to look concrete like they have been made, you know like with a lot of um, you know dedication or you know concentration they have to be light and random in order so as to give a you know more natural look to the leaf you can even switch up the colors here So in this one, uh, which I'm trying, it's quite similar to the first one. Uh, the length is smaller and you can even leave a, you know, a fine line between the leaf. This gives a very different sort of look to it and adds more beauty to the leaf. And then you can connect it with a small stem. This is quite similar to what we see as in a mango leaf. In this one this is a very uh, loose sort of leaf uh, which you can try so you just have to you know make small dabs of uh, using small dabs of paint you just have to you know form a leaf like structure it can be you know like uh, connected at any spaces or not connected you know leaving small white spaces in between then adding a small stem this gives a really natural look to your leaf This one is also really simple. You just have to make, you know, small circles, ovals, you know, random oval circles um, on the either side of the stem, you can see. And then once you add the stem, it uh, looks really nice and it is very simple.
so here i have also taken a different uh, color this is a sap green mixed with a bit of uh, yellow you can try different colors like these uh, so no, mm, so these lighter colors with hints of yellow give a really fresh and a bit of summery look to the leaf so here i'm leaving this one to just first dry then i'll then i will be adding uh, one more layer of paint later on you can try out a leaf like this uh, you know making long leaves uh, which are you know very thin at the base too and um, go to the same width in the top too just with a bit of a uh, point at the end and you can make these in any random order they don't have to be you know any specific pattern or um, any specific number doesn't have to be followed here you can add any sort of random leaves anywhere just keep in mind that uh, where your stem will follow and on that part uh, just keep on adding leaves and then later on add a small stem to connect and finish it this is the main thing that you have to keep in mind while making uh, leaves that uh, keep the direction of the stem in your mind so that you know where to take where your leaves have to uh, you know turn and uh, bend or take a fold right So now once this has dried I am adding on another layer of paint which is also of different color a bit of a darker sap green This also adds a uh, quite a contrast of colors and looks really nice and you can uh, try out different color combinations here leaves don't have to be exactly green that is uh, the nature's color but you can even try uh, you know rust brown brown or even purple blue leaves they also look good and once this dry it forms really uh, nice patterns so i hope you find found this video helpful and this is just the most basic video which covers the most basic techniques and once you have a control over these techniques and brush strokes you can explore more and start creating any sorts of uh, leaves you want to thank you